coal removal dredges operated as normal today. However, overburden works and the Morwell open cut was shut down when the number 10 dredger was partially buried by this morning's landslide. Four crew members were removing overburden on the west side of the open cut around 2.30 this morning when the dredger struck an ancient fire hole, sending more than 50,000 tonnes of loose clay down the face of the mine. The material in the fire hole is very fluid, it's a bit like porridge, and it spilled out of the hole and, uh, and uh, basically half covered the dredger. That's some surprise to the four operators within the dredger, I guess. Yes, very great surprise, I would suggest, and we are very fortunate that they got out of it without any scratches. A nearby four-wheel drive transport vehicle was also damaged in the landslide. Parked at the base of the cutting, the slip hurled the car 30 metres. The overburdened conveyor belt was dislodged from its rollers when the spill distorted the carrier line. It's the SEC's worst landslide since open-cut mining began in the 20s. However, Mr Smith rules out any union action over breaches to the safety code. I don't believe so. It's one of the things that, that happens in a mine. Mr Smith says another dredger will resume overburden works in the open cut as the damage to the number 10 unit is assessed. Martin Hoy, Fick News.